Good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am headed to the gym, not drinking coffee anymore, so I have some peppermint tea. It really helps with digestion and honestly, it tastes pretty good. I didn't think I was gonna be a tea person, but this is actually pretty fire. So I'm having a little warm cup of tea on my way to the gym because it is a 35 minute drive, which I don't complain about. I'm a driver. So this is my time to listen to my podcast and drive to the gym, get ready, get right, and sip on my tea. There's no caffeine in it either. It's just like a warm little drink to have when you're driving. It's just a vibe. And I usually listen to like Huberman Lab, Mind Pump, The Skinny Confidential. Those are my top three favorite podcasts. So I'll probably listen to one of them. Today is leg day. I'm so excited. I feel like today is just going to be a good ass day. And this weather is reminding me of home. I'm originally from Wisconsin, but in Texas right now, it's like 45. 50 degrees outside which is fucking brick but i like it i dig it it's like the cold without the snow and everyone knows the snow sucks especially driving so i'm fucking with it i like it i'm like all bundled up i have my layers on i literally have two sweatshirts on well this is like a half shirt <laughs> this, that's for like the gym fit this is to stay warm the little young la zip up that i showed in the last video because i'm obsessed with zip ups i also packed a bag because i'm gonna go to the gym and because it's kind of a far drive i don't really want to come home immediately if i'm gonna drive out that far i don't always go to this gym by the way and then I'm gonna stop at a coffee shop and finish up client check-in. So I brought my computer, my notebook, everything that I need. Let's head to the gym and let's get a good ass workout in. I just got my car clean, so I'm being so freaking extra careful. But I need to get some cups that actually fit in my cup holder because there's no shot this is fitting. So I'm gonna have to hold this the entire time, which is not the most ideal. If y'all have any cute little to-go coffee slash tea mugs, any recommendations or even like Amazon something, Please let me know. I want to find a good one that's cute and aesthetic and it actually works. Shut the freak up. It actually fits in the cup holder. Like, it's definitely gonna spill, but it fits. It's sturdy. I still need recommendations, but peppermint tea secured. Just a joke, just a joke. She was my spice, so bad. Swimming in the river stakes too much. I'm trying to let it go off. I was hoping you could just remember your body goes. Workout was so good and I finished off my leg day with 20 minutes of incline walking as my cardio. I'm doing that three times a week. I was at the gym for longer than expected, just talking, chatting, stretching, doing abs. Like I feel like I did so much during this workout, but since I can only work out three days a week right now, I am making the most of these three days. I am throwing in a solid warm up, a really good workout, abs, stretching afterwards, and then my cardio. So like a full ass workout. It's one o'clock. I'm gonna head home because I need to let out Duke and I also packed a bag because I'm gonna go to the gym and because it's we're just gonna work from home today podcast of the day today is the skinny confidential Rin Whitfield I think she's on Real Housewives of New York that's what it is it's pretty good they're talking about dating and it's entertaining so I'm gonna finish listening to this on the ride home so the meal that I meal prepped I just warmed up in the microwave little post-workout chicken, rice, broccoli, avocado, and sugar-free barbecue sauce. So good. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm so hungry. It doesn't look that amazing, but it tastes really good. And I guess I'm eating this with a spoon. Mm. I'm obsessed with barbecue sauce. For the people that make and eat rice, how do you keep your rice from getting hard and crunchy? after you microwave it but like how do you keep your rice moist in the refrigerator please help because i'm eating a lot of rice now and i need i, I can't be eating crunchy rice and i'm not doing instant rice because chances are they have 
other weird ingredients in it. So I just like to bulk cook my rice, but please help me. I'm taking a break from client check-ins. I'm gonna make some dinner. This is how I usually organize check-ins. I have this notebook and I basically just write down everyone's name and then everything that's important within their check-in. I respond to their check-ins, make some adjustments if needed, but it just takes a long time because I like to keep track of everyone in this notebook. I feel like I just remember things better and I can process things better if things are written down in front of me instead of just being on a screen. I don't know why I can't like comprehend that well looking at a computer screen, but I just need to like write everything down so everyone's super organized on here i don't want any little detail of information to be overread or passed by because everything is so important with coaching from going to the bathroom every single day to supplementation to injuries to form to being consistent with your macros like everything plays a role i am still taking clients if y'all want to apply below um i have a few more spots left i would love to work with you and the year off strong i'm always trying to find ways to keep duke occupied so i got these lick mats off of amazon and i put yogurt on top, froze it so it takes him longer to get through. He's so excited right now. But it like suctions onto the floor and this will keep him busy for like 30 minutes, maybe even more than that. Super good to like stimulate their brain so it like tires them out. But I'll give it to him because he's getting crazy. Sit. Yes. Anyways, back to my dinner. I'm cooking the Emily Marika bowl, but it's the Chase Josephson bowl. That does not sound nearly as good, but it's macro friendly and it's a little bit healthier, so let's make it. I usually always have rice prep, so I just have rice ready. Primal Kitchen mayo, any sort of sriracha or hot sauce. The salmon that I get is the wild caught sockeye salmon from Whole Foods. I like to get a big value pack, so it lasts me a little bit longer. It's pretty lean, but it still does have a good amount of omega-3s and 6s. This one is 150 calories per filet, 25 grams of protein and 5 grams of fat, which is pretty solid. Not freaking Gordon Ramsay, so chill. I'm gonna season it with some onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper. This is the only hack that I know, is to take a wet paper towel, place it over, and then microwave it. Now that the salmon is almost done, I'm going to add the rice. I turned off the heat because I don't want the salmon to overcook. Now I'm going to measure out one tablespoon of the Primal Kitchen mayo. This is just a way better quality with really good ingredients. It only has avocado oil. Eggs, egg yolks, vinegar, salt, rosemary extract. That's literally it. So I'm gonna measure out 15 grams. I think that's what it is. And then I don't really do spicy like that, so I only add a teensy tiny amount of sriracha. Just a couple drops. Let me let me let me get you guys in here. Looks good, don't it? So much healthy fat in this meal. If you're sick of chicken and rice, make this. Because the salmon's pretty lean, only 5 grams of fat. See, told you I tired him out, and you didn't even eat the whole thing. Good morning! Today is the next day. I'm doing a little self-care day today. I'm headed to Jay's because they're having a deep tissue masseuse come to their place and give a couple massages, so I said, count me in. I need my upper back and, like, neck work done. Possibly my lower back, too, if he has time, we'll see, but I'm really excited. I really like deep tissue massages. I've done chiropractic and I've done other massages, and by far, the biggest change that I've seen, like, in my body, and also, like, the mind-muscle connection, I don't know what it is. Getting my glutes and hamstrings worked on has like improved my mind muscle connection and my strength gains in the gym. That sounds so weird, but there's definitely some logic behind that. But it's so important if you're working out to have different modes of recovery, whether that's an ice bath or sauna or Epsom salt bath or deep tissue massage. It's so important. Recovery is so necessary. So I'm excited for that. And I also need to run to Ulta or Sephora and get some new mascara. I feel like my mascara looks weird today because I'm at the end of my tube. So it's like chunky right now. I need to go grab some things, run some errands, and me and Duke are going to go for a walk. Today is our rest day, so I won't be working out today, but let's get into it. If you want to pump your body and expand your- I got my face, Jay. That is so bad. My tip for y'all today, get a uh, massage therapist that's bigger than you. Look at my hand on my back. 
yeah, that was brutal, and it was good. Definitely gonna help me out here, so I'm excited for after this all heals and stuff. Also, I got cupping for the first time, which I've never got cupping done before, so I'm gonna have big bruises on my back, but it's fine. I don't think they're gonna last very long, but it definitely helped. Like, the cupping, I feel like, helped a lot, too. So, 10 out of 10 experience. CJ is awesome. He travels around all DFW doing home visits if y'all are interested, but super dope, super clutch. So, I just pulled up at the mall, and I need to stop at Sephora, and I cannot be distracted by anything else here. We're only going to Sephora and leaving, so let's go. I'm finally home. I did hold true to myself and only stop in Sephora, and I got a couple extra things. I really have been wanting to try the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This is the bronzing powder that I usually use. It's the Haas Labs, the Lady Gaga brand, and I really like it because it's not orange. I don't like orange makeup, uh-uh. I also got the Charlotte Magic Cream. I've tried this before. I got the mini because the full size one is like $100, but this one actually lasts me like a decent amount of time and I think it is like the perfect moisturizer to go under makeup. I have really sensitive skin and really acne prone skin, so I'm so cautious of what I put on my face, but this stuff does wonders. It literally is a magic cream. And then this is the main reason why I had to go into the store because I'm so particular about my mascara and the only one that I freaking love is the Rare Beauty mascara in the shade black. I just ran out of my other one, so I'm going to toss this. Motherfucker jumped out of there. And then I also had to restock on the Lana J, Lana J Glowy Lip Balm. This is the peach one. I have not tried this one yet. Maybe I have. <gasps> is this the mini, bro? I think I got the mini and I didn't even mean to. I go through this stuff so much and the last tube I had was, I think, the berry flavor and Duke chewed it. Dude, are you for real? It's okay. Four things was worth $107. Sephora is so goddamn expensive. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing half the time with makeup. I feel like it's just a game to see what looks best on your face and everyone's face is clearly different. But that's all I got. Duke is at Jay's right now, so I have some time alone and some time to breathe before the little devil gets here. Me and Jay just got back from dinner. We went to sushi and I'm so mad at myself for not filming. Just picture what your basic tuna roll and salmon roll would look like and that's what I got. Nothing special. And now I'm home. I am gonna self tan my body for the first time in years, probably like a year. I got this Beauty by Earth self tanner mousse off of Amazon. I have their face self tan and I like it a lot. It's made with clean ingredients and it's actually a small business. So I think it's pretty cool. Literally all certified organic or mostly certified organic ingredients, super good quality. Your skin is super absorbent. So you need to pay attention to what you're putting on your skin. You don't want to be putting like crazy chemicals on it. So this is probably one of the better options out there. I also got my little tanning mitts. So I'm gonna self tan my entire body tonight and we're gonna see how it turns out tomorrow. I really hope it doesn't turn me orange. Hope I get a nice brown blaze, like a Krispy Kreme donut. I exfoliated, I did my everything shower, so we are ready to rock. Oh, it's white. I need to do my chest first. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, actually. Usually self tanners smell like dog shit. It smells like vanilla and coconut. <gasps> This smells really good. I thought it was gonna smell horrible and Jay was gonna have to sleep next to me. This shit smells good. It smells like a candle. I don't know if I'm just the driest motherfucker on the planet, but that self-tanner dried in literally 15 to 30 seconds. Now I just have my pajamas on. I purposely just put pants on and this long t-shirt just, just in case because I do have white sheets. I don't want it to stay. I don't know, I've never used this stuff, so I just don't want that to happen. But tomorrow morning, I'm gonna rinse this off, and I'm gonna show you guys the aftermath. Clearly, you can see I'm very pasty right now, and I need a little color. I didn't do my face, so I didn't do that. You guys, this is literally the best self-tanner I've ever used. It's like so natural, so good. My skin looks so good. My legs, you can tell the biggest difference. I was so pale before, and now it looks so good. It's like that golden tan, it's not like orange. Okay, it smells a little bit weird now, so I'm gonna rinse it off. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after. Okay, and this is the after, after I rinse it off in the shower. Bruh, I am 100% using this again. This looks so good, it looks natural. Like some self tans look so orange and fake. <sighs> And it has good ingredients. We love that. Happy November 1st. I'm off to the gym. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you next time.